For 20 years, Richard and Julie Birch have been mainstays of the Beeb Out Chilterns volunteer group, Richard becoming chair in 2005. He used his business and marketing experience to grow its activities, its influence and fundraising performance. His networking skills brought on board new volunteers and raised the profile of the Trust, especially in the Wendover area. Strong support from Julie led her to take on the Chilterns newsletter, eventually working with staff to move it online and to grow its content and reach. Both became active meet and greeters at College Lake, where they forged stronger links with the wider Chilterns group. Richard has been an essential link for Trust staff with local organisations and conservation issues, especially HS2. Although handing on the chair role when family and health demands increased, Richard continues with our group as publicity lead, volunteer recruiter and deputy chair, and Julie still produces our newsletter and helps at many events. They are very much the embodiment of Beebout in our part of the three counties. Chad George has been volunteering for Beebout since 2014 when he was instrumental in the trust acquiring Yosden Bank, a stunning chalk grass and site in the Chilterns that he'd been personally involved in over many years and that through his advice and help had turned into ecologically one of the richest sites in this part of the Chilterns. Chad immediately filled the role of volunteer warden for me and over the following eight years has helped to run regular work parties and undertake survey work that's helped inform a work plan of this wonderfully rich nature reserve. Unfortunately, over the last couple of years, due to ill health, Jed is no longer able to dedicate so much of his time to the management of this site. However, the legacy of all those years of dedication are clear to see in the rich flora and insect life at Yosden. It's fantastic news that Richard has been awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award, and it's richly deserved. I first met Richard when I started at the Trust in 2008, but Richard had already been volunteering for the Trust since 1984. In the subsequent 28 years, Richard has been a core member of the Bowdown Sunday Work Party, led numerous guided walks around the reserve, as well as giving countless talks to clubs and societies. He also chaired the botany section of the field club, and since 2003, as a licensed surveyor, Richard has been monitoring the hazel dormouse population at Bowdown. With Richard's vast wildlife knowledge and friendly, relaxed manner, he has promoted the wildlife of Bowdown to a wide audience for many, many years. And just this week, Richard confirmed to me that he's happy to continue volunteering for at least another year, which is great news. So Richard, thank you very much for everything you have done. Ken has been a fundamental part of the College Lake team for 32 years and has been present for much of the site's transformation from a working quarry to the amazing nature reserve that it is today. My experience of Ken is a person with immense commitment, a huge knowledge of the site, and a willingness and enthusiasm to get done whatever jobs needed doing, bringing a diverse skill set that could be applied to so many different tasks. It's been an absolute pleasure working with you, Ken, and I think I speak on behalf of everyone at College Lake in saying the site really won't be quite the same without you. Thank you. The Wednesday Warburg volunteers and I felt that David Litchfield deserved a Lifetime Achievement Award after dedicating 15 years volunteering at Warburg Nature Reserve. The knowledge and skills that you've brought to the team, David, have been invaluable. Um, myself, providing that continuity between me and the previous warden was absolutely invaluable. All your habitat knowledge, all your species knowledge, um, absolutely yeah, invaluable. Um, thank you for passing on all of your skills to many of the volunteers, including scything, tool maintenance, and of course, most recently, butterfly identification. Um, thank you for doing the surveys recently. And also, beyond Warburg, you know, locally, you've been doing so much for conservation as well. I know you've been involved across the border in Berkshire, where we first met and also um, up at Kingwood Common. So from everyone here at Warburg, thank you very much.
for all your dedication over the past 15 years.